Niaje? Mkofiti, mkofiti. Nashukuru. Ah, uh, uh, Kiari karibu sana kwa show. Welcome back. I mean, nikitambu kwa hapa, but ba, it's tamu, all good, sana. yeah. And of course, Kabash over there, former Nakuru All Stars Bidco Agrochemicals. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, mlipeleka team Nyasi bana. <laughs> finance, finance, bro. Team ka dead. Team gani? Ah, the, the club folded, bro. It was dying. The team billion. Already. Yeah. What do you mean team billion? Agro. Sisi alikuwa agro. Oh, by the way, ni mbili. Alaki ni yako. By the time alikuwa anaenda, I mean, uh, alikuwa shuka. All stars nilikuwa msiku hapo mimi, siku karibia. Alikuwa he, he was not involved. Anyway, guys, um so last week we had the uh, FKF Premier League gala of course then kulikuwa na those awards and uh, there's been a lot of debate about um certain players and there there's a lot of there's a lot of people out there that feel kama certain club in you know, get favors when it, when it comes to these awards because um especially now before we get to the MVP kuliko na this award ya the fair play award Kario Bang Sharks won it right yeah and then kuliko na na this debate tuliko na sema oh in Kenya usually na fai kwa mwenye the club with the least number of, of booking. bookings but then again on asema Kario Bang Sharks and was it or among the new age best timekeepers MJ there was this criteria kwa hizo kwa hizo leads za bookings on walikuwa uko walikuwa na top uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure though but yeah ni eh uh, on walikuwa na top even for star rangers were there mm-hmm. lakini again ukiangalia kama hiyo fair play award ya teams mm-hmm. kuna vitu mingi zinafaa kuangaliwa mm-hmm. your respect to opponents uh, match officials mm-hmm. type keeping unajua oh vitu kama hizo okay uh, okay kuna vitu kuna vitu mabao tuangalia Mm-hmm. So it's not, it's not it's not just booking so it's you know you know major unajua time time keeping hiyo ni lazima unajua lakini booking si ni kitu pia inafaa kwa major sana kwa okay. so kama wale angalia time keeping na respect to opponents na what do you call it na time keeping i think mhm yeah could deserve kwa ngome mimi kama mtu anapata over 40 cards na kuna mwingine alipata 25 na mm. nel deserve na wote walikuwa nafika grow at the same time mimi i think kwa game za nimeona za FKF Premier League mm. team game moja tu ndio imechelewa na kick off na ilikuwa game ya live okay ilikuwa hapa na kuru hiyo ndio ilikuwa game moja imechelewa ilikuwa game ya western steamer so i think hiyo mm. hizo teams zingine zili keep time they were very disciplined in terms of ku uh, respect opponents ku right. respect right. match officials so apo ko mvp uh, before we get concert to the mvp um keeper of the season of course saruni saruni i think yo uni msa saruni ke mimi msa hang ule jamani deadly man ni sawa drop kick kiangalia hivi kutagua okay. distribution yake ule mse top notch like i think over the years mm-hmm. eh? saruni The guy has been so patient kwa Kenyan football. Okay. At the, at the time nilimjua I think he alikuwa madhari na alikuwa kamili kadogo. I think ni ni, ni, ni mkipa mwenye amemachua wa football yetu. Mm-hmm. I think it's he also yeah pia ni image. Kuna venye na nacha hizi talents za mkipa wadogo wadogo. The other day walikuwa na na clinic up at Kisulisuli grounds hiyo ile ya Achar George. Yeah. I think we should mention him for that. I think also pia tukiangalia football yetu pia tunaangalia venye our on a mental vagina because huh? even me when i was young i was looking up to somebody playing in the premier league playing in the english premier league also the kenya premier league i think pia watu hii ukipata kuwa na na wana interact na watu kama kina saruni i think ina boost morale ya mtu hii anaona eh i can also achieve all right saruni is all right all right love so inspiration mj so pia saruni ni a qualified match official yeah yeah I'm <laughs> saying pia anaangalia life after football vile anaweza ingia so ingine pia. But there it's very yeah. few players choose to go that uh, down that path ya ya officiating. Yeah, officiating. I mean most players who kimaliza their careers to but wanataka ku could do something you know like coaching um maybe taking a role at the club mm. but 
it's a easy ish. I mean, you don't really get to see it. But usually, players when you match in the lower leagues for a long time, maybe you want to mostly top it down or want to go down that route. But mm. well, good luck to him for the fu- in the future. Hopefully, if I'm more at a more quick practice, then good luck to him. And we want to keep practice. Kwa ilikuwa interwards na cruist yeah okay so dio kwaju okay aya sour so midfielder of the year lawrence juma as daniel ilikuwa na na debate deservedly deservedly yeah. so now mvp hapo sasa ndo siasa iko ya kieleweke na tanga tanga i think uh, the the only the only big concern is that kapaito is from sharks uh-huh. but i think him personally Angekata, na he, I think he deserves because ukiona I think I'm said Shaq sana who in matches yeah I remember you called it on one of the episodes uh, of the podcast <laughs> yeah and yeah, previously you said uh, Kapaito is your man but before that ulikuwa umesema Lawrence Juma then uka change mind very quickly I mean siku <laughs> change but it's all good because sour um you call it me personally I don't see any problem with Kapaito winning it I, I feel that our what when you were nominated for that award they all deserved it yeah. because they had contributions for you know for their clubs nazilikuwa different peer like anyone any one of them could have won it no angalia hapo nse kama juma yeah ule mse mifunga like i think 14 15 goals 16 goals 16 goals mm-hmm. from midfield mm-hmm. yeah peer number of assists from peer, mi- yeah. midfield we get 16 mm-hmm. goals a number of assists Yaani alikuwa na season moja amazing. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I think alikuwa na deserve MVP more than Kapaito. MJ, I Ukiangalia, think the only thing that Kapaito will contribute ni goals of which as iko match expectation uh, is goals zake as bro. Much. To be fair alikuwa pia na assists. Come on. I think alikuwa 3 3 5. Oh, alikuwa na ngapi? Tanzia alikuwa 16 goals na maybe I mean six, that's what seven. you expect from a striker mabao mabao uh, mabao more than assists from a um, midfielder ukipat at the euro goals pia na assists yeah ukipat at euro ukipat at euro midfielder na kupiga over 10 goals huyo ni mse mwenye anafaa kukua among them is kweli Kevin De Bruyne eh anafaa kukua one of the best players recognized see midfielder of the year peke yake but above that pia the 16 goals in pia kuna vitu zingine i feel like I'm not so sure what happens in Kenya. Siji kama there are people who, who really collect this data and enough you could very helpful in selecting. Okay, rumors as if that easy our zil kwa FKF. Zil kwa vote and as it was in an start. Those are rumors. Yeah, mm. so now when you pale promotion you pakos in motor. Like let me tell you from an attacking position yes mm-hmm. we get tunaza tunaza ile one hapo. Lakini we cannot rule out Kapaito. Kapait was scored over 20 is around 24 goals or so. Yeah. I think that guy has broken records zao kina Jesse Vera kina nani. We we that man anything good we must appreciate. Also we are, we, are, we are not ruling out Lawi that I may perform but Kapait was done marvelous. I'm a corner season poor. So you know like on offers from from even outside the country. Oh yeah? yeah. Okay. So I think Kapaito and Adizal the only issue here that Kenyans wana in our Sumbua umze metoka sharks. We don't, uh, about, you, we, don't, we, don't, we don't care about we don't care about him coming from sharks <laughs> we, we need to appreciate him as Eric Kapaito. Yeah. As Eric Kapaito may perform very brilliant. Lakini mimi issue yangu si yeye yuko sharks ama nini. Scoring 16 goals from midfield. Very few midfielders on either. Very few. Yeah, also scoring 25 goals as a striker. Very few. good. <laughs> very few. Very few. I love to see Yaani ukiangalia ule mse alibeba sofa paka kwa mgongo yake. Mm. Kwa mgongo yake. Na get. Ukiangalia mchezaji zenye amekosa au mpigwa, au mm. mtu wajafunga bao. And like Kapaito akionje I think ni two two matches amekoa nje ndo amepigwa na wajafunga. Mm. Okay. Get. Lakini hizi zingine alikuwa ndani anapiga tu mabao. Bao. Una okay sawa. Hiyo debate tutaimaliza. Ah we have a fixture. Um uh, before before we even get to, to that. Um Kasarani has been banned on asema i was host any fifa or caf competitions so apparently i hear is because of the bench line the flood lights what is going on ban i mean this this is a, this is an embarrassment it's supposed to be well it's, it's not supposed to be it is the best stadium in the country 
tunachezea wapi qualifiers federation yetu inatoa pesa sana well 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 i don't, I don't think in mabora federation this has Zee. to go to the government Zee. no 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 na tell your management usiende hapo hata hata usijaribu our federation is liasing with the, with the government hey. my brother but is it is for could you fix ya na afa kujua tunafaa well, kuzani bro nini. bro listen na, na nani anapea go listen listen is it demands kitoka fifa nani upewa ni gava ama ni fkf well if kf d if, if kama if kf how can you be yeah. sure how can you be sure how can you be sure how can you be sure because of federation <laughs> inatuangusha let me tell you <laughs> Unacheka, hata kucheka. It's it's up to, the it's, up, it's up to the federation to liaise with the government. Okay. Uh, that we have an upcoming fixture on this uh, certain dates. So we need Kasarani to be ready. Ready. Mm-hmm. Ready, ready, in of, this. ready in terms of ready in terms of lala is not going to at our own country the stadium in even even steam but, my but, but we, we cannot blame FKF alone. I mean the government FKF here is, is, is to involved blame. together with the stadium management FKF because wow do wanna manage uh, I, I feel all stadiums across the country right okay wanna manage but nimekulizaje mm because now because stadium management na kama hapa so wanna manage viwanja yeah wewe mpewa unajua on a certain date ndako mm-hmm. na game na team ya kabash kweli ni kweli fifa imekupea demands ndo nataka hii kiwanja yako ikuwe hivi na hivi na hivi but i feel i feel you your mandate ya ya yeah, stadium this, this is what i feel mm in mandate yao they should know that the, the stadium is supposed to be up to mandate standard mandate ya nani government yeah, ya study uh, the stadium management right ah uh, yeah na stadium, stadium management belongs to the government yeah yes yes ndo nasema hapa pia government always jitoa okay but they are, they are, what they were quite fault federation inafaa kukua ilifanya follow up I mean, bro, this, from the this time okay. fixture ilitoka ona if it's mm-hmm. that tuliko tezizi game huko june na kumbuka na kumbuka leo ni zikakuwa postponed ya. If it stays as a quick come kitu kama April. Kweli? Federation na fakwa imeshafanya hizi follow up follow up follow up. Ompea na briefing so mejua wamesema at least tumejaribu kupasu government lakini government imekata. Kweli? Lakini wajajaribu. Mimi naweza sema wajajaribu. Okay. MJ CC kona World Cup it will be a dream because because sisi wenyewe tuko serious as a federation as a, mm-hmm. as, as a, a government country. as a country we are not serious we are not in, investing properly in football okay na kusikia na was was ni ambie tuko na tuko na tuko na home match uh, yeah, we cannot yeah, we cannot yeah, even yeah, play yeah. in our own stadium mm mm-hmm. yeah, we cannot meet the the standards that are required to <laughs> okay where sawa so, hii mambo ya stadium i feel the government mimi the biggest blame is a blame the government together with the stadium management more than the federation but pia you're right the federation pia in a way ama hiyo iko supposed to follow up on these issues and make sure that we have you know we have a, a home pitch because okay na situation ya nyao iko aje is it the same ama pia wao nyao ni floodlights i think uh-huh juu ni leona task alicheza hapo na alicheza game poa think pale ni game usiku tu zote. Yeah, nimesikia. Ngoza mm. ni kusikia, nasikia yeah. hapa kuna steamer. Mm. Hakuna steamer. Mm. Ai, si Daniel ni zako right. Ai, yeah. Because if we have we have we had a match juicy. I'm e, sure kulikuwa kulikuwa Okay, see at steamer ni see at steamer ni afloated peke yake. There are so many things going on. Kuna na pia na run hapo. Maybe generator but then again pia kuna offices if I'm not wrong. Mm hizo vitu lazima kuwa na steamer i believe kuna steamer maybe tu useme tu ni floodlights iko na issues ama zimechapa or something but we'll try and find out what's up so last week eh, eh, kumekuwa na interesting stories that may happen across the country this week kenyan football so ghost mulai resigned citing uh, personal reasons um cg the brother or whatever happened i mean okay it's sad your story is sad to hear but then again was he sacked ama well yeah more do yeah man yeah just to you know on mutual agreement aka makustel because you these days to ask ya oh at you may agree kuachana on personal uh, on uh, mutual agreement but usually sometimes hapa kuna mtu mfuto tukazi so it's a nice way ya kusema ujamaa mejitoa but 
that's what happened i don't know what you guys felt about that or maybe like uh, pressure from from people and fans okay so my hey but now we cannot keep playing this kind of football so maybe the federation decided hey we must look for someone else i don't know what you guys feel about that ghost <laughs> i think ghost in the early ali ali jondo le pressure i think koi kenya yetu our national mm-hmm. team uh, for akuta kuna local coach hapo in the near future akuna msi atakubali kuna kufanya kazi hapo because i think um, our own mm-hmm. our own president i think kuna venye ana interfere na makazi ya coach na mwanana na shida tukibadilisha let me tell you you cannot be a, a coach or a manager you're trying to build a team you're trying to do your work na kuna mtu ana try to interfere because itafika mahali utaona i'm not good at what i'm doing that this guy ako around all over inasemekana that hata kwa camp ya national team anaenda ku coach hiyo ni kusemekana those are rumors eh sorry oh okay yeah yeye yeah, pia ana ana interfere na coaching ni mwana kwa shirt hiyo ni shirt ana interfere na coaching ya pia na so alisema hata million ya video lakini so alisema walisema si eh ni nani at this atidimse mwingine so i think yeah. in the ama kula kuna walikuwa wamesema goals za nani unaitwa nani uzedekia actually ziko pia kwa peoka i think locally hakuna coach atakubali kufanya kazi hapo i mean ikiwa tamizi iko siwezi kubali because i mean you are doing well at kcb it's a stable club why would you go anywhere else at this point in the country less pressure lakini ndo ambaye tu kweli kabash na MJ hapa. Hakuna mm. uh, vile regime kwa I think this is the 60 year ndio. Chuo kwa chuo sita. Mm. Yaani average pa yeye tuko na coach mmoja. But ukweli ni it's happened before even in previous previous uh, regimes. Tumekuwa tukibadilisha tu coaches every time. Ndio sasa tunaangalia hii. Mm. Kitu moja na sisi na nyinyi mko na sisi. Mm. Ni our Mrs. Zinuta president. Um <laughs> yeye ndo president so uh, yeye yeah, chairman. Kenya kuna president wa SACO ama hizo mafundisho. Yeye ndo president of federation bro. Yeye yeye ni chairman. Tuambie ni kweli. Eh umejam. Si kujam, ni kweli na ndio. Unaona kutoka huko ma branches. Okay. Kupanda huko juu baka yeah. kwa national office. Yeah. Waseo na ike ibole kwa kama personal property. Ona. Okay. MJ kitu yenyewe unataka kufanya. Hmm. Lazima mimi ni approve ni ufanye. Mimi get mm ya kuget. I need you to As be in, clear. Mimi coach wa national team. Yes. Lakini like, wewe unataka ni feel kabash. Hmm. Kwa nini? Na mimi hmm. kama coach sio na mimi impress kwa wazazi. Okay. Hizo ndio vitu zina happen kwa national team. Maget. Mm-hmm. Na allegedly pia zina happen kwa club. Mm. Eh any associated na. Mm. So hizi ni vitu zaes fai ku happen at this at this time and era. Maget ni vitu zingine zina happen zenye CFT. Wewe kama president I think unafaa kuwa leave alone the technical things to be done by the technical people. MJ, I think okay. that at that time the general court na bring in uh, the team change, the team blue. Hmm. I think we, we expected a lot as Kenyans to come expect umse atakam ku bring change. Lakini the only change that I may bring ni change yeye mwenyewe kwa nyumba yake. I think imefika <laughs> imefika <laughs> mahali Nick Mwenda is trying to intimidate us as a country I think to mfika mwisho us ni nani we we are football, football, <laughs> football family yeah i think we are disappointed because uh-huh. i think we, most of the people that wanna prefer wanna prefer nyamwea sorry to say what i say yeah but the time nyamwea kulikuwa na iko kulikuwa na ish bro let me tell you it's too very realistic there's nothing better about nyamwea uh, so is, is anything better about Nick Mwenda right now nothing totally nothing you're confused as a country bro very yani at this point mwenye kimanzia okay. kimanzia alikuwa coach of national team mm. kenya i think i think ni ilikuwa 67 au hapo wacha na kimanzi nani alikuwa kuna mtu anaitwa kuna mtu anaitwa a top coach ni amruch who is amruch nani blade ule msia alileta football watu kanza kudistudy eh 
Ambrose alikuwa anafanya backup. We, we can see new faces in the national team. Wakina catch wale. Yaani kila mtu alikuwa anaenjoy ball. Na tuli achieve nini with Ambrose anyway. Uh, let me tell you, it's not a matter of achieving. <laughs> not a matter of achieving. It's a matter of giving somebody time to work. Results zinakuja <laughs> baadaye. Acha nikwambie, Ambrose tungempea miaka kadhaa, Kenya tungekuwa mahali right now. Let me tell you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ni sisi tunataka tuandike mtu kazi, hatutaki kumlipa. Tunataka sijui ishiaje Kenya. Okay, so now we have a new coach. Uh, Yeye jina ni ngumu. Mm-hmm. Engine Ferrat. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, anaka kama wind fulani. But uh, yeah. So, um where is he from? Mm-hmm. Ya ko Turkish, German and I Germany citizenship. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kama mm-hmm. All right. All right. Um so abu profile yake chana profile ni joka mwingine tumeleta hata joka is a better term ule ni two years huyo amepewa contract ya two years Labi two months two, uh, sorry two months contract two ya two months two eh. months hivi mbili hivi eh. yani one two alikuwa unveil juzi 60 days alikuwa unveil juzi kwani oh. that guy has 58 days left wait wait wait, wait. so to his contract <laughs> Ako yani ako kenya for 60 days. So I'm just for for the two matches I think game. is Amali. And for mm. the record kaba. Mm. Kikosi shatoka na si ameita. Njoa jumu tu yote. Si ameita kikosi shatoka. Bandari iko na six players kwa national team as we are talking. Say. Uh, how do you know this? Six players. God. How do you know this national team? God. How do you know this na score bali ya kore list? Ni nawaambia kikosi imeshatoka. Okay. Nas bandari kona six players. Bro, who are your sources? <laughs> Kenya Kenya kona wadau. Who are your sources? Kenya kona wadau, bro. <laughs> I think this mm. season kusema tu kweli mse kama wanyika mcheza game ngapi? Very less. Zikio mingi ni five. Mm. I'm a international team to kona very crucial match. He's our very own we do appreciate yeah, him he's talented him. but I think a match fitness really matters in yeah. football. And also mm. as a goalkeeper we una foko mcheza cheza. Okay. Yeah. So um ule ni joka ame ule coach ni joka amecheza 11 matches maze I manage two draws. So the way I see some. it if hata if atuta do well uh, in those two matches against Mali um sine Mali zote mm-hmm. home and away most probably kazi aitakuwa you know his contract aitakuwa renewed but maybe if Pia at impress the federation maybe not on the pitch but in other ways pia maybe anaza get an extension so, yeah, it, it's possible if like it, if if aita ita was successful i'm sure we'll have another local coach because but, like but you, like like, 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 like you guys have said no local coach in the national listen, team listen listen like you guys have said uh the president is a you know is a hands on kind of president so, yeah, mm. he wants to be involved and he wants vitu to happen pia vile ya nataka so, yeah. So to do you guys equal it's it's way better if you have a local coach because then again it's a pretty easy to control to have control mm. but if you get a foreign coach it's hard kidogo angalia pia the the number of coaches that we have now since ni kumonda took over wamekuwa local coaches mm. from Okumbi kwanza Okumbi yote maze it was crazy everywhere Eh hey, Okumbi must go Okumbi must go MJ, akaenda <laughs> then tukakuwa na wengine Kimanzi I mean si 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 me happen that way. We have limited time MJ. Yeah, no Na huyu coach backroom staff yake atatoa wapi? I'm back Na, sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. No local coach let me tell you. Achana uh, sorry I'm blue. No local coach atajingiza kwa hiyo mtego. That's a, that's a trap let me tell you. <laughs> Because <laughs> see already ni uh, Muluya and um Odiambo wamebaki uh, with the national Odiambo, team. Odiambo so so paka. Mm. Ken. 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 Okay. Like in to I think ndo tukuwe na better results than national team. Mm-hmm. Lazima tukuwe na coach mwenye ameka. Juu kiangalia ni like Germany. Ukiangalia Germany national team for the last like at a 20 maybe 30 and over. Oh, kwa na six coaches. Mm. Na sisi in six years tuko na six coaches. Continuity ni poa. Continuity ni kitu poa. But then again, you have six coaches so... and then you have structures. Sisi we have none. <laughs> so I, I don't know what else to do. Okay, about. kitu ya kwanza ni tukijiuliza tuka, hivi MJ. Mm. Tutakuchiza nini? Sisi tuko na 
identity ya football yetu ukumbuke tunaweza identify si mchezaji hivi ama hivi so remember tuwezi ni kumwendwa ni vile una change and the team and the team change while they were campaigning walisema tutaenda afcon and world cup 2022 so far tumeenda afcon hiyo yeah, afcon tuliangukia <sighs> tulienda lakini tulienda tuliangukia tulienda tu kuenda tuliko participate ah, songa kabashi <laughs> hatukwenda afcon tulienda tunaenda world cup tulienda afcon so <laughs> indo team not expected it is a good idea to end the world cup so we have to wait but it jafika your time hatuwezi and we need to move so forward we, we can bet on that <laughs> <laughs> aya sawa ama mali itakuwa bad why no trend <laughs> so kenya police has been promoted to the kenyan premier league uh, bobby ogola is back i'm happy that once again softy gets another chance in the kenyan premier league alongside many other players that were your team um, i mean kenya police going for bobby ogola i, I think he was the best choice and only make na i'm up at your returns as you, as you can see yeah so i don't know what's your reactions towards that um towards um vihiga getting relegated and uh police getting pro- gaining promotion to the premier league <coughs> and for me i think polymefikia uh, football it's business all over football is business all over and ko biashara yote okay invest in your in your in your in your in your personal business i mean any kind of business okay obviously you get returns police this is one of you invested in that team let me tell you this is george mael of former sopa mm. captain alko he was the assistant to joy uh, to bobby i think those guys have done tremendous work also the team the team had quality in terms of experience in terms of young young talent ona kuna 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 wachezaji young the likes of akina dirango kuna ule mabe mwas i think they deserved for me police welcome back to the league well done congratulations and uh, all the best to police uh, in the coming season and uh, before to end with that so to kiangalia earlier the kpl transfer news so far um, there's another story that I'm going to check out so talanta is back yeah yeah ken kenyata yes there's a player uh, i'm not going to mention he used to be with um, ushuru these days is what he works at poster so apparently it is alleged that the man himself have a mwambia wewe chukua transfer urudi Nairobi na kutaka kwa team remember this guy has not been active for a year mm-hmm. but now he's going back ana shughulikia transfer ikivana arudi kwa team Yeah so so that happens anyway so far who has done the best business in the Kenyan Premier League according to you to me yeah ndovu ni ku Tasca kuna Tasca kuna bandari KCB doing better ah mulizo tu moja okay mimi kongo mimi ni Tasca kwa nya job boy mhm tumeleta experience kidogo na quality kianzia kwa goalkeeping department hapo kiona tumi bring in matasi alafu kuna Emre pia ni Gulimfiti amekuwa hapo kuna Buire mhm eh, promising talent hapo kiangalia pia kwa hiyo defense yetu bringing Sakari hapo right back ile kwa mtumbo kidogo la but i think tumekuwa fit itakuwa fit sasa hizi from the games that amecheza nimeona mm-hmm. uh, ana perform better kuja kwa midfield pia kuna quality kuna ham kuna okay. masha mm-hmm. striking pia ilikuwa Ambeja and doing vile major alikuwa anaenda mm. to may bring in two foreigners but he is back until january okay yeah so i think to kona team but kabash kabash will back, back me I'm, i'm sure kabash will back me up here mm-hmm. if you're playing the champions league you're most likely going to attract the best no no yeah the best like come up a kenya the best uh, in the country of course what ataka kuja to play of course um, it's a good experience playing continentals uh, unajua mm. uh, you never know who nani atakuona huko nje yeah exactly so, yeah. so i would say that but then again okay now outside task i see mm. who else do you feel they've done a good business 
kwai transfer because uh, i believe the league is starting this weekend tutakuwa na super cup between tasca and gormahia on wednesday so now who else do you feel wamefanya good business i think uh, uh, was it for me okay i think was it me sign a few players like like kinyanjui from mm. matare mm-hmm. Uh, um, uh, nani, nya, nya care, cliff. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, Kimanzi is building something, something that is for the future. We can play style. We can play games. Mingi I think because it are playing good football, entertaining, entertaining yeah. football. So I think we give Kimanzi time, he will be up to the title contenders. Also Zico being a top coach. I think these experienced coaches are trying to rebuild their own teams. I can see Zico and Messi Kamura. Mm. There are also links that Kahara is going to to KCB, to KCB, KCB. also. Yeah. I think recently <coughs> to Mona for me KCB when he to the league. Yeah, I perform poor sound I think season. they are beefing up their squad with quality. Yeah. Coming to this season, I think we expect KCB was it to task coach carry up. But for contenders as for Talanta, Talanta I think Ken Kenyatta the only thing ni coach true lakini mimi naona huwa recycle players sana. Yeye ule mchezaji ata tumia mchezaji alikuwa na mchezaji 2010 ushuru atabuita sahi Talanta. I think it's high time. It's high time. Unajua pia coaches wanapenda ku work with players that they've worked with before uh, especially uh, mambo na you know tactical at least one understand what this coach wants yeah. so unajua mimi nafaa kukuwa here at what time and you know, unajua but then again it is a it is a it is a come back to the team later yeah but they prefer that way even kimanzi that's why utapata most players kimanzi alikuwa na work ame work now at madhare akakuja ku work now tasca so mnakumbuka hiyo time so mm-hmm. but then again angalia pia kio wazito kama player kama kevin kimani he's worked with Kimanzi before um nyakea unaona mm. inakuwa pia yes inakuwa pia easy uki work with players that you've worked with before inafanya kazi yako pia inakuwa right so you, you don't have to dwell so much okay. on certain issues wakati unajua how players yeah, already, you already understand what you want and i contradict on that eh? i think mm. it's good there's a difference between kim na kenyata kim I'm going to say like uh, the likes of like in Osmond Mande Madare au Meo Menda au Menda I think uh, Osmond Mande Kimana pe a young blood I, I think this opportunity this platform could expose the likes of Kinyanjui mm-hmm. Kinyanjui ya kana Kim sana maybe kweli, two or three seasons That's what I'm saying Also I'm trying to tell you that Kenyatta needs to give the, the wewe, young blood Wewe wewe leo point yangu mm-hmm. I'm saying this coaches kama wao mm-hmm. wanapenda ku like ku, ku work with players that they've worked with before si, previously si, so si, si, system ati wote yeah, ati watakuja ati watu 20 juu walikuwa na madhare so mm-hmm. certain players unaona mm-hmm. like angalia si ame work with Kevin Kimani before ame work na yeye mara ngapi kadha tunaona but i mean bring Kimani of course he is a quality Quali- player very si ndio mm-hmm. he's worked with Nyakea before So unapata kuna certain players of course haitakuwa wote mm. but okay, of course pia yeah, pia of course pia kuna new kuna fresh players uh, when you may come na ni wakali mm. and of course any, any coach would want to have them unaona mm. so maybe at, at our bring in and of course with the guidance you have senior players when you he's worked with before mm. itakuwa easy for them pia to understand but yeah. pia ni poa sometimes to have players when you may work now before so that you don't dwell so much on vitu zingine wakati unaweza just ukangalia pia bandari kabash bandari wa mpiga biashara moja safi wame bring in goal kama okot from KCB alero from Tasca Chris Chris Oche yeah so they are building something better I think pia wata kwa among the contenders na wata sumbwa matisa also homeboys homeboys wana wame sign pia homeboys wame sign huyo MVP wa NSL also the Potifar oh ok chief chief amenda kaka mega homeboys yeah I think he's our very own homo na kuu all stars homo meninga high school ni mchaza jimpua ni umtoi ni mtru ni mwana alichinda MVP na pia Best defender. best defender mm. i think pia homeboys wame 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 ngukia mchezaji he's actually a midfielder but the homeboys pia wame design ambunya wame it's not confirmed yet ama it's confirmed it's confirmed, it's confirmed. confirmed. Yeah, wame okay. design ambunya alafu what's happening with um, coach manoa i mean 
Yeah, ni kama he gets the thrill of promoting teams. I love yeah, na kuja hapa chini ya check it na sema okay, sawa, acha acha tupandishe hawa pia tuone ni aje. I mean, umeingia Premier League. I mean, get in there. Let's see what, what you can do with the big boys. I mean, but pia nasikia pia anafikiria ku retire. Kuna kitu MJ unasahau. Wao jamaa kuna 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 kitu amepitia ndio team pande Premier League. I think this guy is, is trying to ku, kujitoa kwa hiyo kitu ya shida maybe amepitia. Amona hey naenda kupitia the same kind of shit nimepitia ni kwa NSL. Okay, so let's not dwell on that. So what's happening at FC Leopards and Gormahia Noski FC wako na 12 players at this point apparently and no keeper. <laughs> Timia Siano, Timia Siano. So <laughs> the transfer ban ya Tangu Saudiumba. Si hata transfer ban ilikuwa imeisha ya FC. Yeah, I think bad. Bad. Ya Gordon ali negotiate na FIFA I think kai kwa lifted. What? Hey, si jeje ya FC ni tricky. Ni tricky. Na kwanza kuna nyeleona mahali kibarua of which is confirm kan yuko ile ama ni wongo. Wanafaa kuchotwa. Auction hiyo zilikuwa mkujia basi. Oh, okay. Na Trouble, trouble, trouble at the den. <laughs> like it only make it worse <coughs> than. Yani, hmm. over 12 players were made free. Free. So yeah. you management your club in a cage, man. Then you know, invest your player, you may bleep, you may to me have to zako structures. You may have to zako more, but you may end up for free. Also, the rupee went for free? For free. What? Bro, sera nyimna jua tu. Players yeah. wakiwa kigo for over three months without pay. I mean, free. they are free to leave. Now, Tasca yeah. are through to the next round. They will face Zamalek. And um, nikiangalia hapo. So, Shamimwini. I mean, no, no. You, you can see instant impact from the signings at Tasca already. Yeah. Uh, kuna Shamimwini. Then this other striker, Mr. Ujina yake. And um, yeah, so Zamalek is a is a tight fixture. Of course, not sure. It's a big club from Egypt. So who are the players to watch for? That you talk about the value of the players. I mm. think preparation will be key. Okay. Kwa okay. Team zote, especially Tasca. If kama Tasca one is a manage, kuko mm. na better preparations. Okay. I think one is a bit Zamalek. Mm. But on the other hand ukianga left vipoa yeah some like ni giants so maybe mm. new cup like five times okay second successful club in africa you team to go poa kwa na players wazuri wazuri kuna kama um, akraf benchaki mm. ni plan poa na mpiga piga mabao pia pale mpiga 10 goals the season kwa cup mm-hmm. and a three assist check in on plan moja good sana so from your sumbo. current from your ikaje Uh, I think what I want is a player sponsor kuna okay. Mustafa Mohamed. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Chalu wa 22 years old. From the 11 games by the Zamalek. Okay. So ni Chalimpo amfunga bows mbili tatu hivi I think. This is one yeah. Alaf kuna Fajan Sasi. Mm. 28 years old. Um, two games, two goals, two assist. Jamam fit. Uh, player za poa. Mm, I think what a pair task around for their money but with the current coach for the task hmm? the management the in a manager team motivation because uh no no not pick a draw away okay i love for part figure one nil oh in anza way uh, i love to pick up one nil hmm. uh, group stage i mean it's usually tricky uh, starting a game um that away that away Tulianza we juicy. Oh, game ya juicy ata solo. Wala jamani wa baba bwana. Umesikia hizo ages zenye umetaja hapo? 22 year olds, 28. Zefu. Eh bwana. Hakuna they don't have the legs anymore. But I think most cow players kama kina song but still good players. But miaka imesonga. I think cuff <laughs> what matters a lot is uh, all about preparation. Mm. I think just ni kwa na matano leo ongelea na sema si cuff peke any match any match any match lazima so kuna good preparation. No no matano juzi alikuwa anaongelea your first leg when you were leader at Atasola <coughs> alikuwa anasema in a duration of three days they didn't train as a team. Alikuwa anasema flight tunapata wengine kwa Qatar wengine kwa Djibouti. Yeah. 
So I think preparation matters. An example, can you use an example? Machiakeza Chiefs last season na uh, ya na Simba. Mm-hmm. I think Simba alikuwa na comeback. Na Keza Chiefs and Simba there's a big difference between the two clubs. Mm-hmm. Also between uh, Io Tasca and that <laughs> new team <in> Egypt. There's <laughs> a difference, there's a difference, but mm-hmm. what were prepared for Also, I, I, I can attest to that Tasca. Tasca is a good team. They have quality players, experienced players. Mm. Coming into the match, expect mm. anything good from Tasca also. So, is it the end of the road for Tasca? No. For, for me, no. Okay. Yeah. Masema wana toa Zamalek. Pige Zamalek, pale fila pige draw away. Konza 0-0 siya mabao. 0-0? 0-0. Wow, bro, that's yeah. a big shout. Ujo tu kuna best defender of the year. <laughs> But then again, you're playing against one of the best in in Africa. Makes you the best in Africa. It makes you among the best. Uh, yeah. yeah. But in Sawa. So your prediction for the Super Cup uh, this Wednesday, Tasca Gormaya. You could kuna 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 haja ya prediction. Yeah. How? Wait, wait. What your prediction? Zaka kutusumbua. Two nil win. Two nil Gormaya. No. Okay. Tasca. Kavash. It's one nil win Gormaya. When he'll win for Gormaya, yeah. I would say a draw, then penalties. Gor wins on penalties. That would be Panzo, Rafkia Kabasha, or former coach. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. So remember to subscribe to the channel and also follow us on all the socials to call Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for coming on.